Hey guys, Reed, welcome here, back to another Ben Tutorial Review. Let's get straight to the point. Lodestar. One of Ben's aliens, obviously. Um, so yeah. So let's begin with the obvious. Object symbol is right here on his chest. Pretty green, usual for the past one. He has green eyes. That they they use the clear piece right here, though, because his head's supposed to be floating. Because he doesn't have a neck, so his head just kind of floats. Looks right there. So yeah, and he has these like little things right here where you can attract anything metal. Or the thing has metal in it. So you can pretty much pull it to him or pull or push it. Kind of like negative and, you know, positive and negative, pretty much. Which you like to say would be very powerful, but it yeah, actually works out a whole lot of situations. Well, especially if you try to take people's guns. Half metal on it. Whatever show feels like it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much not just his arms can move on a full. Th can it? Yeah, okay, yeah, full 360 degrees. His legs can move up that far and move back that far. He can kick you in the way it don't shine. Yeah, that's pretty much it. He's like one of the. Like, he was like one of the new, cool, like, newest looking aliens in Alien Force. Even though most of them were new, <laughs> new to Bendem fans. <laughs> because the OG, they moved on to the new, see, I guess pretty much the uh, second season, even though the OG Bendem had, like, a few of them. So how about we go back to the past? <laughs> Stay fly. Yeah, as you can see, his. Okay, one thing. I'm assuming these are his eyes. I, okay, yes, I watched the original. I still don't. I'm assuming these are his eyes. I never really questioned it until now. Bad time to question, I guess. He was. Let's get straight on the view. His tail. It's not really important to this view, really. I'm saying it's a tail thing. You can turn around full 360 if you want. That's pretty much just. His legs right here are connected. Like, are connected. From the back, his arms can get go full 360. I guess if you wanted to, if you work with it. If you look right here, they didn't color his mouth, but his um, trees is colored. Pretty sweet. Awesome. One of my favorite classic aliens because I watched the original. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's pretty much interesting. Fly. So, I think this seems more rushed than usual. I don't know why I'm rushing things, but let's move on straight to the other one. <laughs> Echo, pretty much in line of similarity with Ben's other, you know, copying aliens like Ditto, and for the reboot, Slapback. Pretty much what I'm saying, guys. Unless Slapback, where you get stronger every time, every smaller you get, every copy and smaller you get. Echo, Echo, he pretty much clones himself, pretty much. I copy, it's the same strength as the other. He can scream, his power is screaming. Supersonic screams. We can scream and pretty much hear her, your eardrums. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. He pretty much, you know, copy himself. And also, what he can also do with that ability is also when he copies himself, he can, each of them can transform back into Ben. But their personalities, because he only did this like once in the show, and his personality, like he had like split personalities in between him with his different emotions. One was really nice and apologetic. One was really a douche, and one was just Ben. They can all use the Omni tricks, 
Thank God Azmuth never found out about that incident. Speaking of Azmuth. Speaking of Azmuth, we have him right here. I'm going to throw in two, because why not? For, okay, first week before we get on him, here's his design. Never mind. Here he is up close. He has, like, little things. I feel like somebody's supposed to have to figure that door. We'll find out later. And back here, if you turn his head, his, like, little pack thing. His, like, what, radio thing is attached to him. So you kind of have to pop it back in every time you want to move it. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of Echo Echo. These are just for looks, I guess. I don't know why. Simple, yeah. That's pretty much Echo Echo. You can see if you... Look right here, it has like... You can't know if you can tell, but it has like little layers under his mouth. He's one of the alien, new aliens and alien force. Better than alien force. Pretty cool, awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome and cool. Not much to say to him. <laughs> so, let's get on to Azimuth. Yes, he is a species of gray matter. If you see the reboot movie, he was in there too. He was the inventor of the Omnitrix. Gray matter species. You know how old he looks, he's actually quite young. Because apparently they I guess in the gray matter world, the older you, um, you, I guess you look older, the younger you are, and the older you all get, the younger you look. Dang, wish that worked in real life, huh? Dang. Wish that worked in real life, huh? Let's put these out. Here he is. Not much to him, he's pretty much a generic figure. His arm, he does have, you know, his elbows don't bend. You can do a full 360, his head. And do a ghost freak if you remember what I was saying about him. His, his leg is kind of limited by movement. Not much to say about him. I think this is his Alien Force version, I think. I think. Get straight into a plucky alien. It's hero time. <laughs> The first new alien to be introduced in the first episode of Ben 10 Omniverse. He's a gorilla mixed with Legos, pretty much. He, I guess, meant to sell toys. I guess that is a toy, but pretty, to my recollection, there's no Lego blocks. I'm saying no. What I mean is, there's no, to my knowledge, unless it's sold in another country, it wasn't sold here in the U.S. To my knowledge, there's no Ben 10 Lego set that does not have it. There's no Benton Lego set around this guy. Or at all. He was here he is. Pretty much he he's a Lego so he pretty much Lego anything. He can become a giant wall, a giant dome, pretty much anything he, he could do. He could do. He could probably turn his arm to a Lego firing cannon. Have people step on actually there's a joke in the episode where a monster stepped on a pile of Legos and alien stepped on a pile of Legos and it hurt his foot. Yeah, he's okay design, fair-wise, he's a gorilla Lego, a Lego gorilla, in case it belongs. This is turning to an alien analysis video, it's supposed to be about tour reviews, I'm traveling off this, but I need a script. Anyways, here he is, he can do a full 360 on his arms, his can do a full on thing, his head he can turn into. 360 look he's ghost right now <laughs> his legs are just these like little twiggy things this is an omnitrix symbol that's pretty much the gist for our lucky man so how about we go straight all right um i'm gonna have to cut this one a little shorter than i usually want to do one more and then that'll be it because it's two o'clock right now so Final Transformation Toy Review! Go! Armadrillo! Armadrillo, folks. 
as you can see here, he is strong. This is, well, not the action figure. This is like a action toy. He's a lot more bigger because obviously he's not an action figure. He's like when I decided to grab instead. Make it a little bit more interesting. It's like, instead of, you know, oh, hey, you can do this, move on, that's it. So this one is a little bit more different. It has more action to him. Pretty much, you can do pretty much every single figure. His arms can do swivel. Get YouTube reference there. His arms can go full. 360, blah, 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 his arms can do this, pretty much like an action figure, his head can not turn, this one cannot turn, he has like, what's, what's the point of the tail, what, why did they give him a tail in the show, I know, does he ever have a tail, huh, anyways, he has his own trick symbol, you know, and like, he's like a little pressure thing where you can usually dig, if you press down on him, he does a little action show look like look like he's digging some things, so you can just do this. Like he's digging on the ground now. And the other one has a little thing look. He has like a little grab action. So he can grab like him look. To grab him. Come on, grab him. You can do it, Armadillo. Look, see? Oh, yeah! Oh, my asthma. Here he is, his horns, his head. He's still, which I didn't know. Okay, me having a problem with this memory. So he can. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so, Peter you know, that's pretty much just an Armadillo. Sorry for coming to the show, it's freaking like late. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I should have done this way earlier. <laughs> uh, let's screw it. So, yeah, here he is. So, have a good... You probably want to see it. It's Friday. Well, okay, okay, it's Saturday freaking morning. But, yeah, here he is. And I hope you enjoy him. I hope you enjoy this. I guess subscribe if you want to. If you want to enjoy more of my content. And, uh... And comment down below, give me some, comment down below, tell me what you think. Give me post some ideas, you know, whatnot. Or, you know, just, just tell me what you think of the video, what can be improved, what, yeah, 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 pretty much usual stuff, usual, comment down in the video. <laughs> well, funny, I was like a slick of a time. Well, as I always say, have a nice day. And yeah, I might post one on Saturday, another one on Saturday or Sunday. I might post another one of these on Sunday. I make no promises on that because by the time you see this, say you'll be seeing this on Saturday, whenever. So yeah, I make no promises. I don't know if I'm, don't know if I'm gonna do it. Depends on if how busy I am tomorrow. Oop. And as I always say. Have a nice day. Treat one, three, eight out, and have a beautiful day. Or have a nice night. Cause consistent upload. Whoa! Have a nice day and stay safe.